This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson. Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to Wine News Weekly. Indoor wine tastings could return to Napa Valley by April 1st. State health officials say COVID infection numbers have dropped so low the region could be elevated to orange status. That means more retailers can have bigger crowds indoors. It takes two consecutive weeks of the lower numbers to qualify. March 30th would be the two-week marker for the county. We now know what the first ever space wine tasted like, pretty much like earth wine. NASA revealed that 12 bottles of Petrus Bordeaux spent 14 months aboard the International Space Station as part of a multinational research project. After the bottles were returned to Earth, tasters detected elevated floral aromas and softer tannins, but no major changes in overall smell, taste, and structure. A new national effort to bring diversity to the brewing industry will launch later this year. Rubens Brews and the Mature Brewing Company formed the Mosaic State Brewers Collective to train, mentor, and fund up-and-coming beer makers of color. 88% of breweries are white-owned in America, while only 1% of breweries are owned by African Americans. And finally, the wine of the week, Theopolis Vineyard's Theopatra Cuvée Cerise Wervedre Blend. It's the winemaker's first blend and recently received a 94 score from Wine Enthusiast magazine. Petit Syrah, Syrah, and Mourvedre make up this tangy and fruit-forward red. And that's all for this edition of Wine News Weekly. To our YouTube viewers, please visit our sponsors listed in the description section below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers. This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson.